long ago, far, far away, in a distant universe, mankind last hope was born. Past the aliens. No, this is not a Tom Cruise movie. This hope was Archie. I was born in the state of Mississippi in a small town called Shaw. Um, in this town, we have like a lot of magnolia trees, um, a bunch of birds, um, bugs and shit to fly in your mouth, stuff like that. My mom and dad, um, they got married right after high school. They were high school sweethearts and bandmates. I have an older brother, Danny. Me, of course. My little brother, Jeremy. Um, my little brother, Randall. And my little sister, Alicia. Randall died at a very early age, but we still managed to rock and have an awesome life for him. One day my mom and dad decided to get up and just drive to California. My dad was already in the military, so um, he had a base out there in Monterey, California. So we just packed up and we just left. It was a nice road trip. My dad was in the army, so we got to see a lot of cool things. Um, since we lived on the army base, we got to see him jump out of the helicopters, all types of stuff. The cannons exploded in the morning, awesome stuff. And then he went to war to Desert Storm, and he sent us this awesome picture of him in the tank riding through the desert. It was so cool. While my dad was off um, at war, we lived on a farm with my grandfather back in Mississippi. He was a sharecropper, so so many animals and cool stuff. That was when I discovered that I am a total geek and with everything being around the farm, I play with a lot of stuff. Yeah, science. And then one day I sat in front of the TV and turned it on. And there was this guy that was sliding across the floor backwards. And you already know who it is. It was Michael Jackson. And from that day on, I was all about music. That day I was actually introduced to it like full force. And then one day the church gave us a piano and it was an upright box piano. It was so cool. I didn't really get into playing the piano until later on in life. I played drums, but I still rocked out. My dad was such an awesome musician. And throughout elementary school and high school and junior high, I played basketball. I even tried football um, and I did fairly well at all sports, but that was nothing like music. I ended up playing the drums in the marching band it was so cool i played the quince the five drums which actually paid my way through um college um although i did play tennis as well um and i did really good at tennis um i played varsity mixed doubles and then the next thing i know i received a full scholarship to mississippi valley state university um where i played the quince in a marching band and um sang in a jazz band and played the keyboards in a jazz ensemble um, I met a good friend there, Jonathan Davenport, that introduced me to the multi-track recording. It was a great moment for me. I took up a major in broadcasting, but then I realized that I just didn't want to do broadcasting. I even recorded my first live jazz CD. Um, so eventually, yes, I did the most ignorant thing ever. I walked away from a full scholarship and I stepped out of my comfort zone. Um, my mother was the campus police on the college campus and I had a full scholarship, full ride. Um, but I feel good about it now because I stepped out of my comfort zone and I achieved a lot of great things from that day on. I left Mississippi, left family and I didn't return. I've been out on my own. Um, I go back and visit family a lot, but I haven't been home living in Mississippi since I walked away that day. And my friend, um, he was the mayor of my town at the time. He handed me this book one day and said, it's yours. And it was everything you need to know about the music industry. So once again, I got on the road, but this time as an adult, I got on a Greyhound bus with 60 bucks and a dream of being a producer and recording engineer, not just a singer and musician anymore. Boy, Mississippi. I went to Columbus, Ohio um, from Mississippi where I met Chris Powell. He taught me a lot about production in the STARS program. I went to St. Louis to where I did my first show as a producer and singer. And I went to Phoenix for, guess what? I went to college. I went right back to college and I found my major. It was the most happiest 
day of my life to find a college major and be able to major in it and um, and and excel in that. So yeah, um, I was recording people. Um, I was recording bands, learning mic placements, just learning everything. I learned about record sales. Um, it was all a. It was just a new moment for me, but it was just an amazing time of my life because that's when I became the engineer and became the producer. That was the point I realized that this is what I want to do, which is the coolest thing in the world. Then after graduating, my friend E. Marie introduced me to the track stars and they gave me my first recording internship. Um, they worked with Ludacris, Chinky Britney Spears. They sold over 20 million records. It was a, a great moment. And I also walked into Clear Channel Radio and snatched me up an internship and eventually started doing tech work at the radio station. Now that was a really big milestone in my career and the direction I was going in. I just didn't want to be an engineer, I wanted to be an industry profession, period. I learned a lot of stuff in radio as well. Then one day I received a phone call. My grandfather had passed and my mother was diagnosed with sarcoidosis. Um, at the time I was only able to go home three to four times a year and um, I felt really guilty about that. Um, so I stayed home just for a little bit to take care of my family because family comes first guys family should come first then one day i received a phone call from a great friend of mine um, that i met when i was um, doing radio work and working with the track stars in st louis dj beats from the beasters he called me about working with them on some projects production projects and yes i got up and i went to st louis um and I, my partner at the time dj cuddy um we were working on a lot of stuff with a lot of artists at the time so it was only um only right for me to be back in st louis and then dj introduced me to his little brother um and his little brother is a multi-platinum selling artist um jib he rapped chain hang low king kong and i became jib road engineer that moment i was introduced to the road life of an industry professional which was a really cool experience um, i got to fly all over the place doing video shoots photo shoots radio interviews um it was a very awesome moment and my friend jib actually introduced me to hollywood um we flew to hollywood a lot because the record label, our record label Interscope was out in LA. It was just a, a great experience. Um, and one day after the Grammys, we went to the studio. Um, our A&R um, set us up with these producers and songwriters, which so happened to be Bruno Mars and his partner um, Phil. They are the Sneezing Tins, and we came out with this song, um, Jibs featuring Lloyd, a DJ. It made number two on 106 in part. It was awesome. And after that, my work was featured on MTV with Chopper. I mixed records. Um, my career was moving. And then I received that phone call. Um, my father had passed. Um, it was a very pivotal moment in my career because my dad was one of the few that believed in me and believed in me to the end. Um, he was very healthy and he just, you know, it just happened. Um, then I called my partner one day, um, Natasha Soleil. She was a songwriter, and I was working with her as a producer for years. Um, and we decided to go into business with each other. And forming the Arnettes, um, one of the best moves I could ever, I could have ever made in my life. Um, for the first time, I went to the Grammys with no one helping. We did it ourselves. All the work, all the networking, we did everything ourselves. And recently, my business partner, Natasha Soleil, and I purchased a home in Las Vegas, Nevada, um, where we are continuing to make music for you guys and continuing to make videos for you awesome group of people out there. And I really appreciate you guys for checking me out and being interested in my life. Thank you.